Hey everyone, Kirk here from Lakeshore. Welcome to today's Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Today we're going to be talking about trees. Trees come in all different shapes and sizes. Some of them are really tall, some of them are really wide, some of them are even kind of funny looking. But the one thing they all have in common is that they all come up from the ground and they're really hard to knock over. Today, we're going to be using some materials that you'd normally throw away or recycle to design trees that can stand up on their own. When you think about trees, what kind of words come to mind? Probably words like green and tall and old. How about words like balance, stability, strength? Those are some pretty fancy words for a big piece of wood. But trees are actually a lot smarter than you think. It may take a long time, but as they grow, they naturally know how to keep themselves balanced so they don't fall over, stable so that when wind blows through the leaves, they stay standing, and strong enough to hold up all of those leaves and branches for years and years and years. Pretty amazing. But what happens to a tree when it does fall down? Well, its wood is used to make all different kinds of products. Materials to build houses with, they make furniture out of it, clothing, and even a bunch of different types of paper, like the ones you can find in your mailbox. And today, we're gonna to be using those papers to design our very own trees that can stay standing even in a gust of wind. But before we begin, adults, here's what the kids are gonna need. If your kids are comfortable with scissors, this is a challenge that they can do on their own. However, if scissors are something that's new to them, you may wanna help them cut. Like most STEM challenges, kids are gonna learn through trial and error. Watching how something fails and then thinking about how to fix it next time is a powerful way for them to learn how to problem solve. If your kid becomes frustrated, have them show you their tree design. See what happens when it falls. Ask them questions like, which direction did it fall? Why do you think it fell in that direction and not in this direction? Or even, do you think you can add something to your tree to make it more strong or stable? Questions like these will help jumpstart their thought process and help guide them toward their next fix. Once you have your materials together, let's get started. All right, kids, first thing we're gonna do is look at our materials. You should have some flyers from your mailbox, something like these, a little bit thicker, almost like postcards. What I want you to do is take those and fold them in half like this. This is gonna be the maximum size of your tree. Do that for all the flyers that you have. Next, we're gonna take one of our folded flyers and our marker, and we're gonna draw our tree shape. It can be as simple or as complex as you want, but make sure it has all of the elements of a tree. So we're gonna start with our trunk, put some leaves on it, and then finish our trunk. And there's our tree shape. Next, we're gonna take our scissors and make sure the card's folded and cut that out. I mean, those leaves kind of hard to cut, huh? Okay, and when you're done, you should have two identical trees. Okay, take one of the halves and cut it straight up from the bottom, a little bit past halfway. Take the other one and cut it from the top down, a little bit past halfway. Now, what you're going to do is take those two and slot them together like this and make sure that the bottoms are in line with each other like that, okay? Take your tape, put a piece of tape at the top and the bottom of one side, flip it over and put it at the top and the bottom of the other side now you have it taped together. Open your tree up like this, so you have a nice little X. All right, now that we finished making our tree, it's time to test it out. Remember, we wanted to design a tree that was strong and well-balanced so that it could stay standing all by itself. We also wanted the tree to be stable enough so that if a gust of wind blew by, it wasn't gonna fall over. So to test your tree, take it, put it on a table like this, and then let go. What happens? Does the tree fall or does it stay standing? If it stays standing, great! Let's see what happens when wind comes through. So with your tree on the table, give it a little puff of air like you would candles on a birthday cake. 
and see what happens. If your tree kept standing, great job. You just designed a tree that was strong and balanced and super stable. But if your tree fell over, consider redesigning it with some changes. Maybe changing something about the top part or the trunk or maybe even the base. Whatever you think needs to be done to make your tree more stable. I'd love to see the designs you guys can come up with. Have an adult post the pictures online, hashtag learn with Lakeshore, and I'll be sure to check them out. This is Kirk with Lakeshore. I'll see you next time on another Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Take care. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.